here is the basic setup for the basketball lab. First, you will need two balls, one that is relatively firm, marked by the red X, and the other one with a little bit of air left out, slightly softer, marked by the black X. You can spot check which one is which by dropping them and observing how they bounce. You will need to measure the mass of each ball. They might not be identical. For the hardware setup, you need to construct a scaffold from the table that then is able to hold the motion sensor. The motion sensor should be connected to the GLX unit, which is then connected to a laptop with the PESCO capstone software. You need to measure out a standard drop height of one meter. And make sure each time you drop the ball, its bottom is at that one meter mark. You also need to check that the ball drop height doesn't start too close to the motion sensor, otherwise it gets confused. If it's too close, then you need to adjust the height of your scaffold. Make sure that the motion sensor points straight down. Otherwise, the ball is going to drift out of the picture very quickly. Here is the software setup. Classic templates, table and graph. Check that the motion sensor is recognized. Add two additional columns and then select measurement, time, position, velocity, acceleration. For the graph, select position. Go to data summary. And for each measurement, change the numerical format decimals to three. To initiate the drop, hold the ball perfectly underneath the motion sensor 
at the one meter mark then wait to hear the clicking sound once the recording starts and hold the ball for two or three seconds before releasing it. If the ball drifts out from the field of view of the motion sensor, then try again or readjust your scaffolding to a different position on the floor. The relevant part of this data starts here. This is where I held the ball at the drop height. Then it started moving away from the motion sensor to the first bounce, approximately one meters of drop. Make sure that you have about five or six consecutive good bounces to approximately the same distance before the ball drifts out of the field of view. Now for the softer ball. Again, notice the holding of the ball and then dropping by one meter. However, notice that in this case, there did seem to be a systematic drift of the ball, probably drifting away from the direct field of view. We need to try this one again. Notice the bounces are a bit more consistent. Don't forget to export your data. In a text format. with enough information for you to be able to do the calculations.